Hi, it's Vicky here and welcome to the third video of my week featuring Waffle Flower. The stamp set that I'm using today is called uh, Flower Cycles and uh, first of all I am going to create a panel for my card. I'll be using uh, this uh, stitched rectangle to die cut a piece out of uh, white cardstock and then I will be using another uh, die which is by Simon Says Stamp and it's uh, a circle stitched uh, die. So I am going to place the circle in uh, the top uh, center of my panel and I am going to secure it with some post-it tape just to make sure that it won't move as I pass it through my Sizzix machine. And then now I have my panel. And although this uh, looks like I am going to make a shaker card, I don't really plan to make a shaker card, but I do want to add some dimension on my card and you'll see how I am going to do that. Now I'm using my pencil and I'm going to make some markings, which I'm going to erase later on, just to make sure that uh, I know where this uh, hole of uh, my panel is going to fall. And I am going to mask off the edges, so I'm using some uh, post-it tape. And I'm working on my card base at the moment, so that's a top folding card that's uh, four and a quarter by five and a half. Now that uh, I have a little square that is going uh, exactly at the back of uh, my panel, I am going to use some distressing to color uh, that area. So first of all, I am using uh, tumbled glass. And I'm applying my ink with uh, my blending tool, the mini blending tool, making sure that I don't go outside the edges. And then I am going to bring in some uh, darker color. And uh, this is Peacock Feathers, which I am going to introduce only at the bottom. And if you are watching my videos, you probably know by now that uh, my favorite color is blue. And I really, really love Peacock Feathers. I am removing my post-it tape and uh, you can see that I have a nice little uh, square of color at the center which uh, is going to fall just at the back of my panel. And I can now move on to do some stamping. I am going to start by stamping a flower from uh, the stamp set and I will be using black ink. I'm going to stamp uh, the flower on uh, a white cardstock and uh, I'm going to color uh, the flower as well as the leaves that I'm going to stamp from the same stamp set using my finger dabbers and uh, my um, distress inks. I am going to start with my darker color at uh, the base of the flower and this is uh, festive berries and then I am going to add a little bit of uh, spiced marmalade at the top which I am going to blend with uh, my red using the finger dabber. This is my favorite coloring technique and uh, I find that uh, you can blend uh, colors super easy by using uh, your finger dabbers or your blending tool. I am going to color the leaves by using uh, shabby shutters and then I am going to add a darker shade and uh, I believe that's uh, forest moss. You will uh, find the full list of all the supplies that I'm using today, including all the distressing uh, colors that I've used, just below the video in the details area if you're watching on YouTube, or you can always visit my blog. Also, there is a giveaway that has been running on my blog the whole week, so if you haven't already entered uh, your name, make sure to visit my blog for a chance to win uh, one Waffle Flower stamp set. I'm uh, using my scissors to cut out uh, the flower and uh, I'm making sure that I go just outside the black lines. I am uh, using my Memento black marker to go all around the edges and get rid of uh, the white edge and this will also create the illusion that I have cut out the flower perfectly. I am going to do the exact same thing for the leaves so I'm going to cut them out and then go around them with my black marker. And now that everything is ready, it's time to assemble my card. So I want to decide where everything is going to go. And once I know where the flower is uh, going to fall, I can now go ahead and stamp the stem. I am going to stamp the stem using my black uh, ink. And I can now stick the panel over my card front by using some uh, foam tape. By adding the foam tip, I am going to create some uh, dimension, which is really great and create a touch of elegance when you are working with a white panel over a white uh, cardstock. I also love that uh, die because it adds a nice stitching all around at the outside edge of the panel and that really makes uh, the card look more finished. I am actually making this card for my mom for Mother's Day 
on Sunday and uh, I want to keep it uh, nice, elegant and uh, professionally looking. So I am placing some uh, tape adhesive at the bottom of uh, the flower and uh, a tiny little foam square at the top. And you can see how I can create some dimension and have that flower coming out of uh, the circle there. Now I am going to curve the leaves just a bit, add a bit of uh, tape adhesive only at the bottom and then stick them over my flower. So my card is pretty much finished. I am going to add some uh, finishing touches. So I just have to use my clear Wink of Stella glitter pen all over the flower. I don't know if you can uh, see the shimmer, but uh, it really is uh, very pretty. And I am also going to add uh, a few of those uh, dots. These, are, uh, these aren't actually gems, but uh, they are rather uh, silver dots. I am going to stick them all around my card. I always believe that uh, all those uh, bits and pieces that you add at the end, like those uh, little details, they really make the card. And uh, now it's time to stamp the sentiment. For the sentiment, I am uh, going to use this stamp set, which is uh, the Feathermore. This uh, stamp set comes with a saying that says you are the best and there are uh, many words that you can add next like daughter, mom, friend, cousin, son, sister, whatever. So I am going uh, obviously for uh, you are the best mom. I am using uh, Versafine ink, black Versafine ink. So I am going to stamp mom and my card is pretty much finished. I am going to try to catch the light for you so you can see the shimmer on the flower. And here are a couple of uh, close-up photos. So that was the card for today. I hope you had fun and got inspired. And if you did, don't forget to leave me a comment as well as give me thumbs up on my YouTube channel. And here are a couple of uh, more videos where I feature waffle flower. Make sure to hit the subscribe button if you haven't done so already. And thank you all for watching.